back to my channel. Today we're in Willow Creek and we'll be um, remodeling this house with streamlexing into this. So basically I've been doing a couple of renovations in Willow Creek and I want this street to look like a neighborhood and I want all the houses to kind of fit together. On the left here you can see a random huge white house, yeah with the pink roof. <laughs> That's just a house I'm doing all my um, all my shorts in and I will be renovating that as well to make it fit in with this neighborhood and I'll show you in the end as well the other houses we've done I have videos of those um, renovations as well if you guys want to check that out um, but with this house today I just wanted to make it look a little bit more um, new because I felt like this green color just looked kind of haunted so it looks a bit weird I think it looks like no one lives there it looks a bit um, abandoned so I just wanted to change that and I wanted to make it bright and make it um, cute. Um, initially, I really wanted to keep the green, so I was trying to change some greens, but I couldn't find any green that I liked the way it looked. Then I stumbled upon this orange and I just thought it was such a fun color and I've never done um, like a full orange house. So I thought it would be so much fun to try and make that work and make it look cute. So. I kind of went for this orange paneling and then I went another orange on the edge of the house just to kind of break it a bit. It's the same paneling, it's just a bit of like a lighter orange. It looks beige from this perspective, but yeah, I think it's in the in the orange colors when you search it in game. And I went for these modern windows as well as a orange door because I thought, what, when are you going to use an orange door in a house? Like It just felt like the perfect opportunity to just go all out. <laughs> when it comes to the orange color today um so yeah inside um we went ahead like i just changed these floors i went with this um kind of warm wood because i think that just makes it look so homey and nice and also we will be um renovating this house i forgot to say we will be keeping it a base game house which means we basically have a budget of twenty thousand simoleons which is what the initial budget was for this house as well so we want to try and see how much better we can make it with the same budget and what we can do um, with that. I'll also be using all the packs that I want. I did not limit myself today and I think it turned out pretty well with this kitchen. I went with kind of this gray color. I will be changing these counters later on I believe but um, I just went for this like kind of gray scheme. I thought it looks really nice and I just I don't know I really love these um, new cabinets that came with the Home Chef Hustle those are probably my favorite and I just wanted in this room this is the bedroom so I kept the same layout of the house because I think it's like it's just fun to do it and to try not to change so much of the house um so yeah so I left the same layout and this bedroom I kind of wanted to make it orange just because we already went with the orange so I just figured like you know let's see how much orange we can fit into this house so <laughs> we kind of carried on with this orange theme into this bedroom with this little cute mirror and it's just a lot of fun because i don't really use orange that much and then um when you do it it's kind of fun to see all the swatches and everything it's, it's like finding new new items in game because you never used it before so um, i'm actually really happy with how this bedroom turned out i think it's super cute and then we're going to be moving on to our living room when it comes to the living room i did not go for orange thank god I think it will be a bit too much but i think that will be a fun challenge actually let me know if you guys would like to see that i'd love to do like just like a color challenge where i do everything in the house just that color that might be coming up next i think that will be a lot of fun um but yeah they, these rugs if you guys don't know they're free rugs i'm pretty sure they came with um nifty or what is it called wait give me one second let me check this is, is it nifty li living or nifty knitting <laughs> okay i am so bad with the names um but anyways yeah it's nifty knitting but if you guys want to access some of these like free items you can do that in debug all you need to do is just go into your controls shift and c to open the cheats menu and then you can type in um, bb.show live edit objects and bb.show hidden objects so that will unlock all these items and there's literally hundreds of free items that you can use that are already being used in the world and that really like kind of puts your build on a new level which i think it's like it's so much fun when you find something and you know you don't get to use it especially in builds like this because we are on a budget and like i only have twenty thousand simoleons and you'll see now i'm gonna start scrambling for money because um i just wanted it to look super cute and i'm very happy with how it turned out i love these chairs and this dining area 
um, and I was also trying to fit in a computer here and I already put an extensive TV which if you build starter homes you know it's pretty much impossible to do it's not impossible but like it's very hard you your house won't look as nice so I end up um, getting rid of the computer and I'll be just putting this little tablet just to have like a bit of access to fun if you do end up playing with this house and also this um, the desk that I end up putting there if you've never seen that desk it's because it's in the debug as well and it's one of the eco lifestyle desks and yeah it just it's a lot of fun to add these items because you don't see them in every everyone's build and people don't use it always so it's nice to kind of like change it up and yeah also here in the entryway i think the entryway turned out so cute i just added this little bench i think a sitting bench on an entry in an entryway is like so useful because in real life you'd want to have um, a bench on an, in an entryway right because if you're gonna put your shoes on and this and that you want to have that and also i love having a mirror because i think every time you leave the house you want to check yourself out make sure you look good make sure your clothes fit your makeup looks good and yeah so this area i think turned out so so cute and i was kind of thinking that this would be a house for like um either a couple or like a single sim most probably a girl but it could be a guy's house as well i i feel like might be a slightly bit too girly with these pink flowers but you know i think you just change that and it will still fit um a guy sim as well and yeah i also added this easel i think an easel is just like absolutely necessary at least in my like when i do my um sims games i love to have an easel because it's so versatile it amps up the fun it also makes like your sim be in a better mood it earns you money and it brings up your creativity as well so for me that's like one of my like must-haves when i do my builds um and yeah i also changed these doors they're slightly expensive i didn't really have a budget for it because i was already over like 20 000 simoleons but those doors just look so good and look so modern they're definitely not they actually are my favorite like doors for the indoors for sure and i'm just going to go ahead and change this kitchen mainly because i kind of realized that i'm over budget and as i said this was meant to be a base game home so i want anyone that wants to download this house to be able to download it um, to start their game with so right now right here we're over that twenty thousand simoleon budget and this is why i kind of start playing around with the kitchen and trying to make it a little bit cheaper than what it was um, but I do think that these um, these cabinets ended up doing, looking really well. I will still keep the same cabinets, like upper cabinets that we had before though. I was trying to go for the cheaper ones, but I just couldn't. None of them felt like they fit, um, that they fit perfectly. So yeah, here we go. We're just gonna go back to the original, original ones. But overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Let me know if you guys um, would like to play in a house like this. I love having like a modern cute little house because when you see the ones that are offered when you initially start the game you feel like oh this is what I have to play with and it has to be like kind of like a shitty home because it doesn't look good but no you can do so much with the budget they give you depending on the packs obviously you have but even with a base game you can still make your house look beautiful so don't let anything stop you guys don't let anything stop you can do it so yeah here we're just going to be adding this rug and we're kind of like on 19,999 simoleons which is basically um right at the tip of our budget so i'm just going to go ahead and do some um adjustments just to make it a bit um cheaper so if you do end up playing with this house you wouldn't have to starve because when you get into the house i don't know before in sims like three and two or i don't know if it's in three i think before this i played sims two and i remember when you buy a fridge you buy groceries and you pay whatever a couple hundred simoleons and you just um use them once they're finished you need to reorder them but with the new sims they you kind of like go and you when you choose a meal you want to have they take the simoleons out of your pocket which i actually don't like i prefer the old way because i think it's so much fun to have to order groceries because it's more lifelike because that's what you would do in real life right you wouldn't just go and um oh i want a pizza so let me pay 15 simoleons to my fridge and the pizza like ingredients to show up so yeah i definitely prefer that i wish i would bring that back 
but we're pretty much done with the inside of our house i think it turned out absolutely beautiful i'm very very happy with the bedroom and that's like my favorite um room of this house the only thing that we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna add a bit of things on the outside and as i said our budget is still limited we're already done like there's no more money to add anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into the debug menu and we're just gonna find all the things that we can add for free and it's all these outdoor items like this fence and this car as well you can't really use this car but it just looks cute and it's also because i've already done a renovation of uh, one of the houses in this um street i think two of the houses actually already done and they both have cars so i just wanted it to be to look like a neighborhood and like it all fits in together so i just went for like a similar look i just went for like a bit of a different fence and this one just looks so perfect with the orange and white I felt like it fit in with the vibe that we we're going for for the overall house um and yeah we're pretty much now done with our house i'm just gonna be attaching some screenshots so you guys can see what it ended up looking like and i also add a screenshot of the whole street and we'll go ahead and finish all the houses so it looks like a cute little neighborhood let me know if you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time